Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FSA 3 video. Today we're trying Chernobyl Light, which is an thriller horror type of game. So based on the famous Chernobyl, like you have to go on adventure and unsolve a mystery, uh, like. Uh, uh, it's very adventurous uh, so I have not installed the mod right now and I'm playing on 1440p with uh, settings are on ultra everything is on ultra so on 1440p ultra with uh, DLSS set on quality I'm getting around 50 to 60 maybe yeah 50 to 60 fps sometimes getting a little higher uh, without the mod so yeah and now we'll begin installing <coughs> so i'll quit the game first then download this zip from the link in the description chernobyl light fsa 3 uh, then we're gonna extract it to desktop there is some extra additional steps don't just go paste and play so we will show you everything in this video after opening the folder copy everything then we go to the installation folder of chernobyl chernobylite uh, so after chernobylite go to chernobyl game then binaries win64 and where the win64 shipping.tx is located we are gonna paste it here after pasting we are gonna need to do one thing uh, by default the game runs on directx11 so we will need to use the force directx12 uh, to run the mod so to do that uh, we are gonna right select the win64 shipping.exe then we are gonna right click on it then go to send desktop create shortcut then we right click on the short desktop shortcut go to properties after that come to the target window target tab then click at the end of the line like where the dot exe is ending after that press an space then a hyphen then d sorry dx12 so after the exe press an space then hyphen then dx12 no space in between dx or 12 just one space after the dot exe and then hyphen dx12 hit apply click on ok now we're gonna run the game once from the desktop shortcut and then close the cmd box immediately then we will edit the fsr2 fsr3 config so open the game close the cmd window then we get the fsr2 fsr3 config so we're gonna edit it with notepad uh, open with notepad and then we're gonna turn the nvidia fake gpu from false to true then file save close the file and you will also need to run the game from the desktop shortcut every time you want to uh, play with the mod so yeah uh, okay we are back in the game and there are some trials and error in this game like uh, you will uh, face you will face uh, some issues like uh, in some upscaler there are hood flickering in some there are not but uh, also sometime uh, there are like reverse situation like you you have seen uh, like where uh, wait uh, right now it's on dlss quality and the hood is flickering so if i turn off the dlss and activate the fsr 2.1 there is no hood flickering uh, no wait this is still there yeah as i was talking about uh, then i'll if i set the dlss again the hood flicker will be gone like turn it off apply no not ray tracing dlss quality and there the hood flickering is gone so yeah it's like a trial and error so yeah do try yourself like which one gives you uh, the better result and yeah you can play that uh, via that option uh, so the mod really ends here now i'm gonna play the game for maybe one minute or so with switching some upscalers uh, with dlss
in FSR there is I think the text you know not set studios but it's very little you know uh, nothing game breaking or anything so yeah do try yourself which one works best for you and yeah you can use the mod so this will be it uh, subscribe to the channel if it helps you if you face any kind of issue comment down below i will try to help you and i'll see you guys in the next one so thank you guys